Welcome back to another installment of In Real Life. I'm Charlotte Yarconi, and I have the pleasure of spending time with all sorts of interesting people across Microsoft to hear about their passions, both personally and professionally. Today, I am joined by Arthur Yazinski. Arthur, welcome. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks for having me. So before we begin talking about some of your personal passions, can you tell all our viewers where do you work at Microsoft? What team are you in and what do you do? Uh, I'm part of the developer relations team and I'm part of a group that's responsible for some of our global experiences. Okay, well, it sounds like you're very focused on helping a lot of communities in your role at Microsoft. But I do know there's a community that's near and dear to your heart, hockey. I played rec hockey a lot here and I had a chance uh, through contacts to, to help out with the junior hockey team in Canada. And junior hockey team, for people that don't know, is, is basically 16 to 20 year olds that are at the highest level of amateur hockey and they're trying to pursue academics. So I had the chance to go in, and step in and ultimately ended up taking the role of president and chairman of the Calgary Canucks, which basically is a fancy way of saying uh, I'm part of a volunteer group that really works on all sides of it, from the business side to the marketing side, with a little bit of dabbling on the hockey side. It's kind of almost like a, a feeder into the probes, right? You know, we try to find the right balance and set the right expectation with these players to make sure that while they're still pushing for that dream of making it to the pros, that they also invest in the things that will help them in their life, regardless of hockey. And that's like the things like academics. And one of the other things that we're kind of really proud of is their involvement with the community. So talk a little bit more about that. How are they involved in the community? So it's actually been one of those staples of, of, of junior hockey that you're expected to be part of the community and give back. And so we had this inertia on our side with the program when I joined. And what we found is as the kids got more and more involved, they started to realize what they got out of that connection. And, and they started to look for those opportunities. And we kind of embrace that and we really dialed it up and this last year we had over 400 hours spent by the players basically giving back and donating to various causes and organizations within the city and, and the highlight there was you know we were nominated for a community giving award within the city of calgary awesome arthur so thank you so much for sharing your story with us and talking to us about what you do in and around hockey and until next time for another episode of in real life <laughs>